guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're closing out the first week of may and opening up the second week so without further ado let's go so today as usual we're going to start with the expenses if you can see the cord from my microphone i'm very sorry i'm going to try to move it but it's probably not going to work uh let's start so we have 47.21 in groceries 10 in spending 38.19 in dine out 461.39 for travel that was half of my expenses for my trip to cyprus i did upload a travel vlog with all of the expenses yesterday so go check it out if you haven't i hope you enjoy it then 300 for rent 73.50 for beauty and 75 for health so it was in total for the first week of may a thousand five euros and 29 cents very big expense week but it was expected because i paid for rent and for the travel so let's quickly flip through the budget let's put the actual amounts and let's set up the budget for next week so i hope you can see everything in frame we had 600 euros as the actual income for uh, this week that's what we worked with and then uh, let's open our black binder and see the rollover. So groceries has a rollover of one, two, and three euros. So we actually spent 47 here. Spending has a rollover of 10 euros. So we spent 10. And dine out has a rollover of 20, 21, and 22. So let's see. 20, 16 minus 22 is 38. Perfect. So gas got five, rent got 50, five went into miscellaneous and 50 went into one month ahead. So in total for short term, sink, uh, sorry, not short term sinking funds, cash envelopes and bills, we put 205. So 600 minus 205 is 395. We're bringing it at 395 here for short term sinking funds and everything here stayed the same. So 31 into beauties, beauty, 15 into birthdays, 10 into Christmas, 15 into clothing, 30 into health, 20 into subscriptions and 50 into travel. So that was 170, 395 minus 170 is 225. So 225 bringing down to long-term sinking funds, five went into babies, five into car, 25 into deposit, five into pets, 70 in retirement, and five in technology and weddings each. So that was 120 in total. 225 minus 120 is 105. And let's see. Uh, that's what we have here, 105, and um, we're going to put that into our savings box. So we put 70, so 105 minus 70, 35, 20, 10, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, exactly what we have in the rollover. So that's in total 105 with zero euros left to budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. So let me quickly take my box and let's add this 35 into there. So I hope it's going to fit. So 35 in there and 35 divided by 5 because we only have 5s on here. We need to cross out 7 5s. Let me grab my marker. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Perfect. So I will be very interested to count and see how much we have left to stuff in the box. But we have done week one and now let's move to week two and let me take this away the cash tray away and we're going to focus on the budgeted amounts for the next week so we have an income of 695 euros to work with this week and groceries is going to get 55 spending 20 dine out 60 uh, rent is going to get 50 Utilities are going to get a 20, miscellaneous a 5, and one month ahead a 50. So for cash envelopes and bills, we are stuffing 
260 euros. So 695 minus 260 is 435. This is also going to be my birthday week. So I expect there's going to be some spendings. Me and my sister have the birthday on the same day. So there's going to, going to be spending on her present as well. So for short-term sinking funds, we are stuffing 30 for beauty, 10 for birthdays, Christmas and clothing each. 30 is going into health. Um, then we're stuffing 10 into subscriptions and 50 into travel. My next trip is on the 7th of June. It's going to be a very short, quick trip to a place I haven't been to yet in the Balkans. So leave your guesses down below what you think is going to be. But uh, that's going to come in June. Yes. So a travel log also coming then. And for short term sinking funds, we're going to stuff in total. Oh, 150 euros. So 435 minus 150 is going to be 285. So we're bringing that down here to long term sinking funds. We are going to stuff five into babies. Uh, five into car, 25 in deposit, five into pets. I am contemplating getting a dog in autumn. Uh, so kind of looking around for smaller breeds because I do live in a small apartment. I do have plenty of space to walk uh, them outside, but still. Uh, so if you live in an apartment and have a dog, maybe I'll leave some suggestions down below for any breeds or what things to look out for. I am looking for a dog that's probably not going to be very vocal, so non-barking dogs. Um, I also am looking into pet insurance and how much it might cost, so let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas or suggestions for first-time dog owners. I have had a dog in the past, but it was like a family dog and not my own, so I'm open to all of the suggestions. So retirement is going to get 105 and five is going into technology and weddings. So in total for long-term sinking funds, we are stuffing 155 and 285 minus 155 is going to be 130. And all of that is going into our savings box. So very excited. I hope this is going to be uh, the final amount we need to be fully done with this. And yeah, that's the, final budget we have zero euros left to budget and that means we have allocated all of our income to a place to go to our budget so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here once again if you haven't seen my travel vlog my weekly travel um what is it not layover what is it called uh report not report i forgot the word anyway uh from my trip to cyprus uh i posted it yesterday i'm gonna leave it in the corner here and i'm gonna be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck so stay tuned for that and yes in the meanwhile i hope you have an amazing day and i hope to see you tomorrow bye, bye.